Hi all, I'm Avneet. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about MDM versioning, a concept that was introduced from MDM 9.5. In this session, we're specifically going to go ahead and talk about timelines in relationships. Because timelines or MDM versioning by default is enabled on HM relationship objects. The purpose is to understand the concept of versioning. What do we mean? How does this happen? And what does that mean for relationship objects from 9.5 onwards? I'm going to go ahead and now proceed with a demo. I've already taken liberty to create a relationship, which we're just going to have a look right here. It's a relationship object, which is defining a relationship between two entities of hierarchy customer and a relationship type of permanent employee. On the XREF, what we have is two source co systems contributing to this record. Each source system specifying its start date and end date. Note that there's no more a relationship start date and end date on a base object. The relationship start date and end date of a relationship is determined from the XREP table of a relationship table now based on the dates of each source system. If, For example, if I want to see what, what would be the relationship start date and end date for this existing object, it would be this minimum start date, maximum end date. But what this tells is that each cross reference is only applicable for this time period. So in an example, to display how this works, we have two custom columns, C call and C call one. Legacy system has a value of legacy. SFA has a value of null. And how this would work is, uh, I'm going to demonstrate that in a in a request call, which is an MDM get call. And all I've done is I've printed the values of the two custom columns, what they will be on a specific date. So now. If I check what this relationship would look like on 21st December, the two custom columns will have a value of null. If I say what would this relationship look like on 21st April, you know, it's going to go ahead and give me the two values from the legacy source system because at this time, both the cross references are applicable. Legacy is applicable from 1st March till 31st May. SFA is applicable from 1st Jan till 31st December. Saying that, does that mean I can only have one cross reference from one source for a relationship? The answer is no. I can have multiple cross references from the same source for different timelines or intersecting timelines. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run an update call from the SFA source system and I'm going to go ahead and populate these two custom columns. I'll put this update on the 1st December and it will be applicable for, for, for almost one month. So you can say it would, would be around about 1st January. So it's a regular update relationship API that I've used to update this relationship. I'm going to go ahead and execute this request. Let's see the outcome. So now we see another cross reference has been inserted from SFA source system. And it's applicable from 1st December till 1st Jan. But note, this date has been auto adjusted. So the previous cross-reference has been adjusted in a way where the end date of the previous record, pre end date of the previous cross-reference of SFA is sysdate minus one of the new cross-reference entry. So the new source entry for SFA is applicable from 1st December till 1st Jan. The original is applicable from 1st Jan to 30th 
and this is left untouched because it's, a, it's from a different source system. What does this mean? Let's do an, a simple search example. Let's see what does this relationship look like on 21st December. What we see now is on 21st December, we have these two values. Okay, what does this look like on 21st Feb? It's null. What does this look like on 21st April? It's legacy. So what we have done with timelines is we have given you the opportunity to go ahead and maintain multiple versions of the same relationship object or for different time periods. Earlier, in older releases, you used to have multiple base objects doing this. One base object from start date 1st Jan till 31st December. Another base object from a different source for 1st Jan 2014 to like 31st March 2014 and things like these. But now what we've done is we've said you just have a single base object but you can have multiple versions of source records for that same base object. And based on the time that you're searching the base object will automatically do a BVT call, will compile the best version of the record that is available based on the applicable cross-references and show you the data. For example, if you see this get call, what I'm doing in this get call is I am populating the effective date. This is my object right here and this is the effective date that I'm setting and that's nothing but the calendar object which I've set on start date and start date is right on right here. So 21st, this record looks like legacy 21st December this record will say SFA on 21st February this record would have null and if you think there are multiple base object records I'll query the record itself it's a single base object right here which shows you the record and all we do is when you do a search with effective date we calculate which source systems are applicable then do a BVT on those and get you the data back saying that we you have more functionality as well what you can now do is you can have more audit information where you can see which system or which user you know had an update for what timeline so all those are available and if you go into IDD you can have those information available to you using uh, effective date periods using the history view using the effective date view it can show you which user made what change on what timeline and you can see multiple versions of your base object or your relationship in IDD by choosing the effective date that you want to look, the, look at the, the data Just to recapture what we have discussed so far, what we have talked about is MDM timelines or MDM versioning and how they enable you to have a single rec record but have multiple versions of past, present, future. I will go ahead and end this session now. As usual, we would love your feedback. If so, please go ahead and uh, you can either con you know send your feedback on support videos at informatica.com or you can go ahead and tweet about it. Thank you all. Have a great day.